The European Union's chief negotiator Michel Barnier has revealed to member state envoys at a closed-door meeting a post-Brexit trade deal with the UK is still possible, despite publicly bemoaning the prospect of an agreement being signed. These comments following the latest round of negotiations last week are in stark contrast to his downbeat public assessment around Britain's stubborn positions on fisheries and the so-called level playing field guarantees of fair competition. But Mr Barnier told a closed-door meeting, according to sources present speaking to Reuters, I remain confident that a balanced and sustainable deal remains possible, even if less ambitious. He added the UK now seems more interested in pursuing only a low-quality, low-profile deal. Brussels is continuing to push for a wide-ranging agreement in one comprehensive treaty but the UK is looking for a simpler free trade deal and separate agreement on several other matters. The EU's chief Brexit negotiator said a recent meeting with Boris Johnson had convinced him the Prime Minister does still want a deal, despite insisting the UK was prepared for the prospect there might not be an agreement at all. Brussels is refusing to back down on several red lines, with the EU's demand its fishermen have access to British waters after Brexit being a key stumbling block. Mr Barnier said while the EU finally recognises Britain's desire to be an independent coastal state, it is simply unacceptable for the UK to demand near total exclusion of EU fishing vessels from UK waters. The Brussels negotiator has also said no progress has been made over the level playing field and accused the UK of refusing to commit to maintaining high standards and avoiding undercutting the bloc in areas such as climate, environment, labour and social law. Britain has continued to rule out any jurisdiction for the European Court of Justice, ECJ, over its laws, and Mr Barnier has acknowledged no role for the European Court of Justice in the UK was one of Mr Johnson's three red lines. He said, We have tried to understand how these three red lines can be squared with our commitment to a comprehensive new partnership. We made progress towards the objective of a comprehensive and single institutional framework, which must include robust enforcement mechanisms.